So if you need the roughness of a pipe for the fanning friction factor values, you're going to possibly use a graph like this, or I will give you the values in the test or the exam. The graph in front of us, there are actually three ways that we can use it. So the first way to use this diagram is to notice that on each of these diagonal lines that run across here, we have the names of different metals. So cast iron, concrete, galvanized steel, asphalt, various other things. And next to each of these, we have an E value given next to each of these just as an E. So I haven't got it in this, but please note that the E value in this is in feet. The second way to use this diagram is to look at your system and find out the pipe diameter in inches from that point to read up to the material that your pipe is made of. So in this example, let's just say commercial steel. We then read off to the left, and on the left-hand side, we will get a value which is equal to the E over D value, which you can then use in a Moody chart. The final way to use this chart, and this might be a matter of what's available or what unit converting you're happier to do, but we are again going to start this with converting the diameter into inches, reading it off the chart up to the material that our pipe is made of. So let's just choose a different one for this example. And then to the right where we can read off a value, which is equal to four times F. So you don't need to use the Moody chart. However, it is only true for a completely turbulent system. And why do we say it's only true for a completely turbulent system? It's because if we look at a very turbulent system, so somewhere on the right down at 10 to the 7, if we look at values for the fanning friction factor to the right of this, you will notice that these values are starting to get constant. So that value of 4f that we read off the previous graph is only true because we are now in that zone on this diagram where the f values are constant.